Okay, so now that we have our three pictures in Photoshop and they're black and white, we're going to change the contrast, which is the, the difference between white and black, and the brightness, which is fairly obvious what that is. So first step is to make sure over here in your Layers palette that it says Layer 0. If not, here's a quick reminder. We double-click on that layer. Then we get this, and we just click OK. And then it changes it from the background to a layer. So once we have it called Layer 0, we always duplicate that layer. So we can go up here. Uh, I think, yep, duplicate layer, or we can just right click on it and duplicate layer, and then switch the visibility off. Then we've got something to play with if we mess this one up. So our next step is uh, to change the contrast. So we go up to layer, and we choose new adjustment layer, and we choose brightness contrast. Click OK, and you'll see a different looking layer now in your um, Layers menu or Layers window. Make sure that's on top, that's the top layer. And then we've got some sliders, and you can see what happens if I drag the brightness right up. We lose some detail, and down it gets darker. And with the contrast, it turns it from grays to blacks and whites. So what we want to do is turn the brightness up and the contrast so that we're getting some nice bright uh, whites, but we're not losing the edge of your face with that white background. So somewhere in the range of 45 to 55 should be fine. But play with it so it, it looks uh, so you get those bright whites and the dark blacks. Once you've done that, the next step is to apply that to the actual layer. Because we're going to be cutting pieces from this image and moving to the, them to a different file, we need to merge the brightness contrast layer with the layer underneath it. To do that, we right click and we choose Merge Down. And now you can see that that was the old one and this is the new one. So do that for all three of your uh, images and try to make the whites and the, and the blacks looking similar on each image. So now I've just finished that with all the other uh, the two other pictures. So if I click between them, you can see that the lights, <coughs> the whites are <coughs> similar and the darks are darker. Now we're ready to start cutting pieces out of each image to build uh, our, portrait, uh, our portrait collage. So first step is to create a new canvas and we'll just make it a regular uh, A4 and click uh, and then name it uh, Portrait Collage. Now we're ready for phase two of the work.